All right, Shalom. You know, I want to start by giving all praises. You want to say the water, Yahweh Hashem, Yahusha. You know, for all of this that is going on right now in the world, you know, knowledge is increasing, like it says in the scriptures in the book of Daniel, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna get. You know, as you know, America, America, has just now um, allowed the a company in Wisconsin to microchip their employees. Of course, they have to pay for the microchips, but you know, uh, they are now allowing microchips to be pushed in the un the U.S. and you can actually not it's not mandatory for everybody, but this company for has got it for their employees, and that's just the beginning. So you know, that's that's prophecy right there, man. That is prophecy fulfilled, which I'm not surprised. You know. I'm not surprised at all because the scripture says these words are faithful and true. So what does that mean, man? It's faithful. And the scripture tells you, man, I'm not surprised. It happened. It's prophecy fulfilled. Just like when Yahweh Shai came on the scene, prophecy fulfilled. Um. Okay. Seek ye out, seek ye out the book of the Lord. Seek ye out the book. This is Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book of Yahweh and read. None of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it hath commanded it, and his spirit it hath gathered him. So Yahweh said, None of these shall fail. So if let's get this real quick. Revelations 13 and 15. No, 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now let's go to that word mark. Oh. Revelations 13 and 16. Let's see what that word mark means. Karagma, Karagma, where you at? Is it Karagma? Yeah, Karagma. Okay. A stamp, uh, and printed mark of the mark stamped on the forehead or in the right hand as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist. The mark branded upon a horse. No, I'm not talking about that. Thing carved, sculpt, graven work. Hmm. The best definition I can link up with is uh, a stamp and imprinted mark and an incision in the flesh. Comes, that's what Karagna means. It's in the flesh. In the flesh. It's a mark. It's something that is put in, imprinted inside of your flesh inside of your flesh of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist. It's this word karagma. It's like let me see something. It's it's something that is inside of your flesh. You know the mark is is inside of your flesh. Uh, what was that? Uh, okay. Um, so that's what that mark is. Revelation is 13 and 16. Again, he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark, a mark, and it, an imprinted mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. It's, it's inserted into your flesh or in, in your forehead. Is is put inside of your hand or in your forehead? Uh, I think, I believe they said that's where the most, most blood blood flows. If I'm not mistaken, uh, verse seventeen, and that and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So, I'm gonna just stop right there because um. I want. I just thought of something. I want to jump right into it. This is Revelation. Uh, is 14 hmm. 
This is Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. The Lamb is Yahweh Shai. So that's your judgment, you know. Them nuclear missiles gonna be on your ass. Uh, but I cannot forget about those martyrs who are gonna be beheaded by guillotines. For you for not taking the chip this is revelation 24 and i saw thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto them this is after the uh so like hold on and saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of yahweh Shai, and for the word of the most high and which had not worshipped the beast neither his image neither he received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands and they lived and reigned with hamashiach a thousand years so those men are gonna, they're gonna live, they're gonna sit on thrones and they're gonna be given judgment, man. And they're gonna reign with Yahweh Shah, man. For they're gonna reign with Yahweh Shah. Plain and simple. Yahweh Shah's kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. So I can't forget about those souls who are gonna be beheaded, man. But um so I forgot my whole lesson. Uh the spirit had me drive over there. To, to cover that this is uh daniel 12 and 4 but thou o daniel shut up the words and seal the book even into the time of the end many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased now I, the reason why i made it was going to do this video because it says knowledge shall be increased now if you search mount seer on google you will see that knowledge it's right here in your damn face. Knowledge is right here, man. Look at this. Look at the Mount Seer. Look at Rome. Look at Great Britain and Washington, D.C. Come on now. They make their houses the same, man. Mount Seer is the Edomites. And it shows you in these three pictures, man. These four pictures. That's those who, they make the same, they make their buildings the exact same way. Come on now. That ain't no coincidence. It's in their spirit. I'm not saying, uh, I'm not saying that just you can just tell it's them by the way they uh, make their buildings, build their buildings. But this is just a, a perfect modern day example of Mount Seer. You know, this is Mount Seer, Mount Seer, Mount Seer, and we see where they get their imagery from really it shows you right here in the original mount seer which they got the same thing at washington dc the same thing in great britain is built the same way them four wait four pillars is it four it's 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 i think seven on that one uh six on that one it's four on uh washington dc and i think it's six or seven i don't know but you know, you see the point, man. You know, the imagery is the same. Like, why does the y'all uh, look the same? But uh, let's keep on going. Okay, last girl. Stumbled across this when I was looked up Mount Seir. Mount Seir, Edom, and Esau. Mount Seir is located in Edom, region southeast of the Salt Sea, now part of Saudi Arabia. Edom was settled by Esau, the twin brother of Jacob. This land was promised to them by the Most High. Plain and simple. This is knowledge, man. This is knowledge. There's more knowledge. This is uh, Mount, Mount Seir. The, orig the, origin, the origin of the name Mount Seir is not recorded in the Bible. Seir was the Mount Mountius region allotted to the descendants of Esau, the Edomites. <laughs> man, it's so much knowledge right here, man. Um, you'd be like, who is Esau? Who is the Edomites? Hmm. Mount Seir is specifically noted as the place that Esau made his home. 
The Edomites had their origin in 20, 2000 BC at the birth of Esau. The Edomites were descended from Esau, who is the brother of Jacob and the, and son of Isaac. Now there are the records. Now these are the records of the generation of Esau, that is Edom. So Esau lived in the hill country of Seir. Esau is Edom. Plain and simple. Look at his knowledge, man. Google is telling you all this, man. Google. Google. Something you can search. Google it. Google it. I'm about to Google Yahawasha. Let's see what this. I mean, it's just plain and simple knowledge right here, man. Plain and simple. But, you know, I'm not going to make this video too long, man. Yahawasha, you know. Look at this. Just knowledge everywhere. It, that last thing had precepts on it. it this is has this has the apocrypha on it. You know. So with that, man, I hope y'all was edifying, man. Mm. We almost out of here, man. It's not that time. It's it's no more time for f for games. You know. I woke up. Call hello, y'all about Shemel I woke up the ninth hour, man. Well, not the ninth hour, probably like the tenth or eleventh hour, man. It's about midnight, man. It's about time for this place to go down. I'm just happy that I'm I'm grateful that I woke up, man. Call hello, y'all about Shemel Shah, the water y'all about Shemel Shah, Shalom to the elect.